Hi Leo, Eray Taronic here, master weaver of mystery suspense thrillers as well as broadcaster of astrology. First, I'd like to thank you for being here with me today, lending me your ears, your eyes, and your time. I know it is valuable. Therefore, I will be sharing valuable information with you that will help you to navigate the month's upcoming challenges. If you'd like to learn more about E. Ray Taronic, the author, you can always hit the down bar. All of my links are below, as well as the links for the healing chakra beads and the sun catchers. Now, let's get into why we're here. We're actually going through uh, cancer season, not only cancer season, but the whole of July, which deals with a little bit of uh, Leo season as well. Now, cancer season is here from June 21st through July 22nd. Um, first, we're going to go over the major transits, and then we'll talk about how those major transits will affect your sign directly uh, after we go over all of the major transits. It's the start of a new season. The cardinal water sign of Cancer is ruled by the moon, okay? Making Cancer very in tune with their emotions. This zodiac sign rules the domicile, nurturing the space uh, around them is one of the most beautiful characteristics of the sign. Uh, because cancers are ruled by the moon, their feelings are frequently changing. As moon shifts, so can their emotions. This month, you'll have to find balance within your emotions as it pertains to work and home life. Cancer is prompting you to nurture your children, your family, your colleagues, your home, and even work projects. Put the work into encouraging growth and development on all levels. And don't forget, summer is here. Live, laugh, love, enjoy. Now, let's see where some of the major planets are transiting. Uranus, the planet of shocks, revolution, and surprises, is in Taurus. The sign of Taurus uh, reigns over our money, our values, our resources, which are all free to progress right now. These areas of our lives are experiencing a drastic evolution and will be for the next six years. The sun is in Cancer at the start of July. Uh, keeping your focus on nurturing your life and those around you, Cancer is prompting you to put the effort toward enriching what really matters to you. Now, once it shifts over on July 22nd into the sign of Leo at zero degrees, your sign, you're the focus. <laughs> um, it rules, uh, Leo rules the house of romance, creativity, children. This is prompting us to get started on that creative project, to maybe even spend some time exploring with a love interest. Enjoy these summer months, guys, okay? This is, I'm talking to the collective right now. Now, Mercury, the planet of communication, skills, sales, intellect, it went retrograde on the 18th of June in cancer and we talked about this about you being discerning as to whom you strike up dealings with because you may you find yourself in the midst of lazy underhanded characters who mean to misuse your talents okay this retrograde and mercury is lasting until july the 12th so these things could still be going on okay once it moves into the sign of cancer or once it goes direct in the sign of cancer on july the 12th talks move forward and, and they're based around home and family as well uh, in, in, in a certain aspect. And we'll talk about how that affects your sign directly. Now, Venus, the planet of romance, finances, uh, abundance, pleasure, is direct in Gemini, which are all areas that are free to progress now for a steadfast abundance. Neptune, the planet of fantasy, inspiration, dreams, illusions, delusions, is retrograde in Pisces. This, uh, we talked about this kind of finding you in a, a lazy, a sharp-tongued mood and things like that um, when it's shifted over. Just make sure that you are getting the proper rest needed because it can find you in a sleepy, lazy mood. With all retrogrades, you're going back and looking at the past. With that being said, with Neptune being retrograde, you're going back over past fantasies, past aspirations, past inspirations, past dreams, past illusions. Okay, so um, that's going to be that's a retrograde. So it's giving you a second chance to work on these things. Now, Mars, the planet of challenges and energy is uh, in Aries where it is exalted. Now, this is wonderful, especially for Aries and Scorpio, because they're ruled by Mars. Leo, you guys, you trying this this transit, you trying Aries. So that brings you blessings in that area so that you can overcome 
your challenges that you're facing. And I'll tell you uh, which houses those are in below. Okay, Charon goes retrograde at nine degrees of Aries on July 11th. Triumph and or healing can be obtained in love, business or otherwise after overcoming challenges and insecurities. Jupiter uh, is conjunct Pluto on the 30th. OK, this is a big conjunction. These are two heavy hitters. Our uh, you know, I'm filming this on the 30th, but this energy lasts. OK, so our lives are going through a huge rebirthing. This conjunction is in Capricorn. It's favorable for making great strides in literature and education, expanding your beliefs, rebirthing your beliefs. Um, don't be afraid to try new things. Explore, expand your repertoire. OK. Jupiter, uh, the planet of luck, expansion and travel, sextiles Neptune on the 20th, no, at 20 degrees on July 27th, on my brother's birthday. Happy birthday, Charles. Bringing opportunity. It's time to fulfill that long-held aspiration in that area. Okay, we'll talk about that. Saturn remains retrograde until September 29th, but entered Capricorn on July the 1st. As you know, Saturn is the planet of restrictions, responsibility, karma, good or bad, karma or dharma. Your actions help determine how your karma plays out. Uh, Saturn, and I'll tell you how it affects your sign. Saturn is when it comes to the true node at 28 degrees Capricorn on July the 16th. Uh, this is great for working on an artistic endeavor. Success can be achieved in creating something that will boost your status in the world. You can really make a name for yourself with this being in Capricorn. That's what this deals with. Your legacy, career, mastery. Pluto, the planet of rebirth, renewal, resources, is retrograde until October the 4th. During this time of revolutionary change, we must put effort towards self-care, okay? Maintaining balanced emotions will be the key to staying grounded in logic. With the massive propaganda being hurled at us by the media, be very discerning as to the information you allow to take root up in your mind. Trying, to, trying not to veer too far left or too far right can definitely become a challenge in the coming months. Still, I beg of you to make every attempt to do so. Take the steps you feel necessary to remain healthy in mind, body, and soul, but don't allow fear to hold you stagnant. Stay safe, my friends, and do not forget to be kind to one another put people in your shoes how would you want to be treated that's how we should be treating one another we're all just walking one another home remember that okay the full moon on july 5th um, is a partial lunar eclipse in the cardinal earth sign of capricorn at 13 degrees in the south node this deals with your karma okay it's where you've already been you have to pass these tests in order to get where you're trying to go this could deal with how you show up in the world because Capricorn deals with mastery and achievement. The full moon brings things to a culmination. What you've been manifesting is coming to fruition, good or bad. The new moon on July 20th is in the cardinal water sign of Cancer at 28 degrees. Um, this brings an opportunity as all new moons bring opportunity. Because it's in the area of home and security, it could have to do with maybe uh, starting a new home-based business or even building security within the domicile. Be discerning as to whom you strike up dealings with and share your plans with. There might be people out to sabotage those new beginnings because the new moon is squaring Mars and Aries over there. That's a 90 degree angle. So let's actually get into how all of these different transits are going to affect your sign, Leo. Um, see how they're going to affect you directly. As far as Leo, you range from July the 23rd through August the 22nd. Okay. Uranus reigning over uh, our Uranus in the planet of Taurus. Taurus reigns over our money, our values, our resources. They're experiencing shocks, revolution, surprises, evolution for the next six years. This is in your area of career and mastery. Taurus is your area of career and mastery. Okay, Leo? We have Leo here. Yep. 
Taurus is your area of career and mastery. So those areas are receiving a drastic evolution over the next six years, changing your money, your values, and your resources. Okay? Now, the sun in, uh, in Cancer at the start of July is prompting you to put effort toward enriching what matters to you. That means your focus when it's in Cancer is on secrets, sacrifice, and solitude. Some inner reflection could definitely help for you to process the inner blocks that you're going through because the challenges you're having, it's all on the inside. Those are all inner blocks, okay? You got to know you're worthy, Leo, okay, in order for you to step into these new endeavors and these into these new uh, avenues. You're going to face challenges. Everybody is facing challenges. But you have to know that you can get through those challenges and you really can get through those challenges, Leo. Okay? You have to know you're worthy. Now, once the sun moves over into your sign, it puts the spotlight on you. You're at center stage. You are worthy, Leo. Okay? Now, Mercury goes direct on July the 12th at five degrees cancer driving communication forward in your sector of secrets solitude and sacrifice guard your information and keep knowledge of your new projects to yourself right now okay now venus the planet of romance finances abundance pleasure is direct in gemini this blesses your area of friendships and high hopes with a sextile because gemini sextiles leo now, um, this brings uh, goodness into your area of uh, romance, finances, abundance, and pleasure. And maybe even a friend is bringing you an opportunity for forward mobility in these areas. Because your 11th house, uh, uh, that it's blessing and going over, it deals with your goals and your high hopes and your friends. So that sextile that you have to Gemini that saving grace is coming through possibly a friend now Neptune planet of fantasy inspiration illusions delusions dreams we talked about it being retrograde in Pisces and you going back and having a second chance to go through those past fantasies inspirations dreams and things like that to bring them uh, to fruition okay um, it's an, it's an opportunity for you to work hard on that. Now, Leo, let's see. This is in your area of shared resources. So the, the things that you're working through in the past have to do with your shared resources. Maybe it's bringing money from past endeavors to grow your shared resources, okay? Now, Mars, the planet of energy uh, and challenges. And, and let me say this too. Um, Things that you've worked on in the past, and, 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 I, and I'll put myself in that so that you can kind of see how I'm working through it because I'm Leo rising. I recently had to re-amend my taxes, shared resources, because my husband and I, and uh, me going back through and getting all of that situated is bringing me new resources, new, um, new money to enhance our shared resources okay so work on those things and see where you have money you can grab now mars a planet of energy and challenges is still in aries where it is exalted wonderful for you this trines your sign this brings you a blessing automatically it automatically pours positive energy into you and this is impacting your sector of education travel beliefs OK, so you could be getting a car repair, getting a new car. You could be traveling. You could uh, be taking a new class, learning something new, um, which will help you to overcome challenges so that you're equipped to handle those hurdles. Um, you could uh, not be having so many challenges as to your beliefs and the way you think. Um, you know, you'll find people with like minded beliefs right now. Um, Charon goes retrograde moving along. Charon goes retrograde at nine degrees of Aries uh, on July 11th. Triumph or healing can be obtained in love, business or otherwise. After overcoming those challenges and insecurities I talked about, these challenges and insecurities are in your area of education, travel, and what you believe in. 
okay the good news is that you trine Aries okay so that brings positive energy and blessings for you to achieve your goals okay Charon is here to bring a soothing to heal those problems you had previously in those areas okay and now that you have a more favorable aspect you're over overcoming those challenges you're winning people over now Jupiter the planet of luck expansion even travel although I will say that doesn't take away from the jealousy that you will be incurring and that you are incurring you know you're you should be used to it Leo it happens <laughs> Jupiter the planet of luck expansion even travel sextiles Neptune at 20 degrees on July 27th bringing opportunity it's time to fulfill a long-held aspiration in your area of shared resources this is great on the 27th you've got more things ready to come in to grow your shared resources this could mean travel or even luck like I said, with growing money that you hold with other people, whether it's a collaboration, whether it's a significant other, whether it's a business partner, it's a chance to, for them to show you the money. Now, Saturn entering Capricorn on July 1st, the day I'm putting this video out, influences your area or your arena of work, health, and daily routines, okay? Your actions help determine how your karma plays out. Tests you face are at work. So that means ailments that you that have long plagued you could be flaring back up for rectification, being that it's your health sector as well. At work, don't let people pull you into uh, those arguments or fighting, that cattiness, that negative atmosphere, okay? Because then that's gonna deal on your karma and then that's gonna diminish the blessings that you have coming in. You have to know how all of this connects, okay? because it's very important as to helping you move forward, okay? Do what you're supposed to do, okay? Stand in your integrity so that you get all of these gifts coming to you. Now, Saturn is quincunx the true note on the 28th. Oh, no, on July 16th. It's in 28 degrees of Capricorn. This is great for working on an artistic endeavor. Success can be achieved in creating something that will boost your status in the world. You can really create a name for yourself among your peers, even if it's in a different avenue that you've been in previously. Move forward. Don't be afraid to delve into new things. You've got this, Leo. You can do it. Okay, if you feel like you need to take a class to update you or to enhance your education, do it because you can do it. You can do anything you put your mind to, okay? Now, the full moon, if I didn't say already, partial lunar eclipse on July the 5th is in Capricorn, the south node, affecting your sector of work and health. If you don't take care of those things that are affecting you and health, if you don't stay in a good position at work as far as not delving into the toxic toxicity, not perpetuating gossip and things like that, you'll get your blessings and they'll be more fruitful. However, if you entertain all of these lower vibrational things, the lower vibrational things, I bit the side of my jaw, it will diminish your blessings. Pass these tests so that you get to where it is you're trying to go, okay? Because it deals with Capricorn. Mastery and achievement, your legacy in the world, how you look, how you're seen in the world. Now the new moon, let me get off my soapbox. I'm really, if it seems like I'm being kind of hard on you, Leo, please know that I'm not. My rising sign is Leo. My brother is a Leo. I have many Leos in my life. So, um, you know, I, I want you to progress. I want you to make it. And I want you to let go of those jealousies that you have around you or maybe even within you that may be holding you back. Okay? People are like crabs in a bucket they're going to try and pull you down. Your job is to continue to move forward. The new moon on July 20th in the sign of cancer affects your area of secrets, solitude, and sacrifice. It's squaring Mars and Aries, okay? Your area of travel, education, your beliefs, what you believe. So back around that new moon, people are going to be challenging your beliefs, you know, you, you might have challenges in education. You might have to take a test for your class. It could be something that small. 
okay? Um, you may have challenges uh, somewhere traveling somewhere or getting a car. But like I said, you, um, you'll experience these challenges through hidden enemies. Be discerning as to who you share your plans with, where you're trying to go at that time, okay? Because you might have people there trying to sabotage your plans. Now, um, Leo, you sextile the, where the North Node is, okay? So that's bringing you opportunities all while the North Node is in Gemini, bringing you opportunities to move forward, okay? To move toward the North Node, your highest aspirations, okay? So you have that there helping you out. The retrograde lasts until July 12th. So remember, work on things. Do not launch until after July 12th. Thank you so much for uh, going through the uh, July video with me, um, Leo. You're moving forward, my babies. I'll see you next month. Bye.